Hey guys, it's Takia, day number 25 in this journey. Um, let's see what was significant about today. <laughs> Nothing really stands out today. I, um, okay, for starters, let's talk about my makeup which has absolutely nothing to do with today but and you probably can't even see this until i point it out but i had a couple of business meetings today so i got all dolled up and uh today is wellness day that so that is significant about today today um is two days out of the week i mark as my wellness days mondays and thursdays and so what happens are on mondays and thursdays i go see um, my wellness chiropractor, Dr. Pete Sulak, who um, is also facilitating the creator and facilitator of um, the Be Resilient program, which I am doing this beta test um, with all the supplements and eating and what have you. So anyway, wellness days are for chiropractic care and massage, if I book that, um, or just facial, any anything that kind of caters to myself as far as just um, um, wellness. And so today is wellness day. And one of the things that I chose to focus on was, like I said, I went and got chiropractic care, got adjusted. And I also am in the midst of during this journey, also journaling and working towards writing um, a book which mark my words in this video what is today uh, Thursday October 20th 2022 this book that I am writing I'm not gonna release the title of it yet but I promise you this is going to be my New York Times bestseller mark my words um, so on this day on wellness day what I focused on was writing journaling and uh, I probably wrote, you know, between two to three, maybe four chapters, um, just because writing is also very therapeutic. Um, the book that I'm writing happens to be a little bit of a mix of a memoir and autobiography and uh, what can probably turn into a documentary as well. So I think writing, writing has always come easily to me. It's a gifting, it's a talent. And also, I think writing comes easy to me because I write about myself, my life, and um, again, hence the healing and the therapy. So today was Wellness Day, and I focused on that. And uh, let's see, what did I do for breakfast? I Ooh, I killed it with my omelet. If you have been watching my vlogging on my meal preps, I've made omelets a couple of times and thrown a few different things in there and I can never quite get the flip and it just like a light bulb, you know, occurred to me that I'm getting a messy flip and it's breaking apart because I'm not letting it cook all the way through. And so I did that, what, yesterday? No, this morning. I let it cook all the way through where I can see the egg was pretty much done on the inside. And then what? Voila, the perfect omelet. So that was monumental today. Um, for lunch, ooh, I did some, today was a day of creativity because let me tell you what I, I'm doing. I'm finding that I have started to not slack on the grocery shopping because I still do Sunday shopping. If you saw earlier this week, I did my life hack, which was the Amazon Prime Whole Foods delivery um, to my door, which was amazing because it remembers what I ordered. And uh, all I had to do was go in and say this, 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 and this, bloop, pay it, and they sent it to my door. But um, I'm not following, if you remember in the beginning, I was following with um, the 28 day paleo challenge menu plan that I was given. And we didn't, we can deviate from that, but I said that I wanted to stick to it to a T until I got comfortable. And now I'm extremely comfortable with pretty much what I call finessing and doing menu plans on my own. And uh, so anyway, because I am kind of just letting the things filter out that was in my um, meal plan shopping list, my fridge is kind of limited on this or that. So what I'm doing, I find myself is kind of, I'm gonna call myself the kitchen cabinet diva because 
when I go in there and I only have certain things, I'm like, what can I throw this together and mash up and make a meal out of? So today was that day. Um, so for lunch, I made spicy kale and apple chicken sausage. That was a bunch of stuff. My kale was fresh, but I needed to use it. So I sauteed some kale, um, some onions, some diced tomatoes, and that apple chicken sausage. Ooh, and some jalapenos. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and uh, it was good. And then for dinner, um, I was still feeling, I love kale. Have I told y'all that? Um, I was still... <laughs> I was still feeling like some more kale, so I, uh, but I made some ground turkey, what I call it, and this was a complete kitchen cabinet diva, that's me, um, menu. I basically was like, okay, I got this pack of ground turkey, and I got this pack of button mushrooms that I need to use before they go bad, and I got this red pepper that I bought for a menu, but I don't know if I have the items that I need for that anymore, and I got some green onion and um, sweet potatoes. What can I do with this? And kale. Did I mention kale? So what I did was I threw, we'll go to the meal prep, go to the meal prep uh, for day number 25 dinner meal prep. It was, I don't know, I think I, to make it sound fancy, I'm calling it roasted kale and mushroom burger bowl with sweet potato rounds, spicy sweet potato rounds, because I threw some cayenne pepper in there. But to be honest, um, it also kind of feels and sounds like everything but the kitchen sink turkey burgers because <laughs> I threw all kind of stuff in there and it was so good um so anyway that was my day today that was the highlight of my day today is that I spent some time on wellness which was writing and I all three of my meal preps breakfast lunch and dinner were just a mashup of whatever I can find in the fridge using all either organic um antibody free nitrate free all that good stuff uh, meat and veggies and fruit. I don't know if I did any fruit today. I did have the rest of my avocado ice cream. I don't know if you go back to last week. I think I made it. Um, it was only it was four avocados. And let me tell you, that went a long way. It probably breaks down to about four servings. Um, so it was really, really good. So, um, oh, I started rambling about my makeup. So as I was writing. I said y'all probably won't even notice this until I point it out, but I can see it. Looking at my face, like this side looks done up and this side, and then you probably can't see my glasses. But see that one eye, I got mascara or something on my eye and I started rubbing, rubbing, rubbing and going to town, going to town. And before I knew I had wiped off this whole side here. See that? See the difference? But anyway, um, that's it for day number 25 testimonial. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.